Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful ending to your week. And for today's video, I want to go ahead and share with you everything that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale event that started on Friday for VIB Rouge. I will go ahead and have the dates down below if you guys want to know when your tier is having the sale. But I recently arrived back from LA from my friend's house. Didn't unpack, you guys know me already. Straight from the airport, I went to Sephora in Times Square and picked up a ton of stuff that I was just so freaking excited about. And I will tell you guys that all of this was $493 and it's like, Whoa. but uh, I will tell you that I did save 20%, which was 113 bucks. So I think I got a really good deal here. Um, these are definitely products that I wanted for a very long time, so I'm happy that I picked them up. I will go ahead and have everything linked down below if you guys want to pick up anything for yourselves. But let's get started, so excited. It's like 7 a.m. also, so <laughs> my voice is gone. I'm gonna pull up stuff in here like it's a goodie bag situation. But the first thing that I ended up picking up was from Fenty Beauty, and this is the Fenty Lil um, Bronzer Duo. So it comes with a cream bronzer and then a powder bronzer as well. So in the store, I decided that I wanted to get the one that's for deeper skin tones just because I feel like I might be self tanning this summer and. I don't know, you know, I feel like this, the dark one would work out better. Um, I did use the powder on my face today and it did apply really nicely. I do like it. They do sell this in the full size, but I wanted to give this duo a chance first to see if I like the formula. And then if I do, I can always purchase the full size at Sephora. And I probably will end up doing that just because I did like how this performed so far. So here's what the little bronzer powder looks like. This one right here is in Caramel Cutie, really pretty. And then this is in Cinnamon. This is just a cream contour stick. This is very, very soft. It picks up a nice amount. It doesn't apply like um, splotchy, whatever the word is. That's what it looks like when it's swatched. And I feel like it's like perfectly warm. Like it's not overly warm, but it's not even neutral. Like it's just warm, but not like overdoing it. You know, I really like it so far. And right here we have the cream contour stick, which is one that I didn't use yet. I don't know, I feel like it has a little bit of like maybe a luminous finish to it, but maybe it'll look pretty on the skin, who really knows? So far, I'm very happy about this. Initially, I picked up the full-size bronzer because I couldn't find this little duo in the store, but then I found it and I'm like, yes, winner, winner. The next thing that I ended up picking up was from ABH, and this is the Mini Dip Brow Gel and brow pencil duo. So I spoke to you guys about this in my wishlist video. It comes with a full size brow wiz and a deluxe size of the brow mascara. So I'm really into brow mascaras. I love to use them for work or to kind of set everything in. So I did want to pick this set up as opposed to just the brow mascara because I'm like, if I can get two in one, I prefer that. And then also these small babies usually are, you know, pretty packed with products. <laughs> and then also the brow pencil. It's one of my favorites from like the high end world. So I uh, wanted to pick up the duo for those reasons. I want to just see the wand on this. Okay, so it's definitely bigger than what I'm used to. Like, and then it's more spread out. I feel like the bristles are very interesting. Hopefully it's going to work nice on the brows. It seems a bit watery too. Maybe I have to shake it up. But anyways, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Um, I think it'll work out well for the brows. Um, it is my color. It's in medium brown, so I think we have a winner here. The next product that I ended up picking up was from Too Faced, and I'm so... <laughs> this is one that I really wanted for a while now, and I'm so, so happy that I found it in the store, because usually in the store they get stuff much later than when they get it online. But this is the Coco Contour Coco Infused Contouring and Highlighting Palette. Packaging is so freaking adorable. <laughs> So cute. So here's how the outer packaging looks, similar to their other contour palettes. But the thing that really got me with this one was how this literally looks like chocolate like bars. Like the embossment in here is everything to me. If you think about it, it just like squares and it's like, uh, okay. But it's, it's supposed to be a chocolate, you know? It smells delicious. This one I still didn't have a chance to use yet. But as you guys can see, there are three highlighting shades over here and then three bronzing and contouring shades. I love the fact that there's something in here for every single skin tone, so I think it, it'll be pretty universally flattering. It seemed very nice, very soft, pigmented, creamy. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> One swipe swatches each. Beautiful. And then let's see what the contouring shades look like. Also, my stomach just made some noise. I'm kind of hungry. Um, I will say that I haven't been actually contouring necessarily. Like, what I usually do is just bronze up my skin. Uh, but it's nice to have this palette now, so I could have that option if I want to. But that's how the three shades look. These two are definitely a bit lighter in tone. And this one right here is a bit, like, deeper and warmer. These, I would say, a bit are a bit more cooler. The next product that I ended up picking up was this 
Dior Savage, I think that's how you pronounce it, cologne. So as you guys know, if you don't follow my Instagram, you probably don't know. But I did go to LA um, a few days back. I ended up staying by a friend. It was really last minute, but super, super cool. A bunch of you guys asked me if he's my boyfriend or whatever, but I'm like... I wish. I mean, I don't really know like where we're at, so I mean, we'll see. But if he's or if he will be, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Obviously, come on. But I did want to go ahead and pick up something for him just for having me stay by. I mean, I know this is not like the biggest thing alive, but it's still something small, and I think he would really appreciate it. He did smell this. Um, in his um, dad's house and he really loved it. So I'm like, let me surprise him by getting it so that he'll be like, damn, I didn't know you remember that and I like that. So I ended up picking this up for him. Hopefully he'll appreciate it. <laughs> and the next thing that I ended up picking up was from Tarte. Now this was one that was definitely not on my radar. But I went to Sephora last week and I did kind of like a shop with me, you know, check what's new at Sephora video. And I saw that Tarte recently released this and I just thought it was so gorgeous, first of all, and freaking cool. It's definitely giving me very, like, summery vibes. I love the packaging because you just, like, push it down and then you get the product on the pad and then wipe it on your face. I really do enjoy my cellar waters. I feel like it's a great last step that I do before I actually apply my uh, moisturizer. And I've been using the Garnier one for years now and I don't know, I wanted to give this a uh, chance. I wanted to give this to try and see like what the story is about it um there's a ton of product in here 6.4 fluid ounces i just thought it was like a little baby just so cute so cute so i needed to have this i needed i needed to have this in my life i'll keep you guys posted and let you know how it performs of course i need to do a bathroom tour asap to keep looking at my ass um the next thing that i ended up picking up was finally you guys are gonna be so proud of me i think i've been talking about this for over maybe two years now i'm kind of embarrassed but i was always just so hard for me to spend the money on it it's what i'm wearing on my eyes today it's the natasha denona sunset palette i was about to say mini sunset palette no this is not the mini this is the original large one this is my first huge natasha denona palette and like i said i used it today pretty pretty happy with how it performed here's what the packaging looks like and once you open it up you get a bunch of different shades in there ranging from mattes to metallics these are very very creamy very soft crazy ass pigmented and a little bit goes a very long way you know me with like shadows and powder products i usually go on like boom and then figure it out along the way with this one i was like wait are you music you just need to calm down sometimes because we don't got time for boomness and then blending it out because these are crazily pigmented like i mentioned so i went ahead and swatched the entire palette you guys can see what we're, what we're working with here but you guys can see it's from this shade till this shade this, these were pretty much with one to two swipe swatches each Barely any kick up, barely any fallout, very soft, very creamy. I will say that to the most part, everything seems pretty consistent. And this was a breeze to work with for the eyes. I just love how the eye look came out. I mean, I think it's pretty typical and basic to an extent, but I just love the formula of this. And I do think that I'll be able to create a nice amount of looks um, just using this, even though, it, again, it is just a basic-ish warm palette. I think we'll be able to get down with this one. So, so thrilled. I, honestly, what inspired this purchase is like the mini palettes from Natasha Denona. So, uh, I'm just so happy. All right. All right. And the next thing that I ended up picking up was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is the Hydrating Glowing Radiance Mist. So, um, I was really happy to find this in store because I ended up smelling the tester that they had there and I'm like, okay, great. It does not give me a headache. It seems like it's very fine. And I mean, I, I wasn't able to tell much just from the first spray, but I'm like, I, I'm really down to get, I'm really ready to get down with this one. I don't even know if you guys can see, but it seems like it has a little bit of oil in here. You just shake it up. And then you spray it on the face. I love, love, love the packaging. It's very cute. Glow Recipe is a brand that's very up and coming right now. A bunch of you guys told me that I should try out their mask. And a bunch of you guys also told me that you're personally picking up the serum that they recently came out with. So I ended up just getting this. I might go back and pick up other things. But, wow. Mm. You know what this smells like? Oh, man. You know like that watermelon candy-ish scent that you like lived for when you were younger? Maybe you live for it these days. That's what this smells like. You just smell like a like a snack. It smells so freaking good. I still like don't know what it does for my skin. I'll have to test it out and see. But I think it's gonna work nicely, especially considering the fact that there is some oil in here. I feel like it's really gonna give me that illuminated effect without overdoing it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it says glowing radiance. Uh yeah. That's what it says. Makes sense. The next thing that I ended up picking up was another mist, and this one was kind of like on a whim. But I was like, I don't know, I really want this. This is the Varsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. It has 24 karat gold infused. It hydrates, primes, and sets. So far, I use this today for the first time just to like set my makeup. 
I think it said everything in nicely. I feel like it gave me, a, gave me a little bit of a dewy finish. Here's what the bottle looks like. It's in a glass bottle. It has little gold specks in there. The spray, the mist is really, really fine on this. Blech. No, but I will also tell you that a ton comes out at once. But what I also will tell you is it smells amazing. What does it smell like? It smells like my childhood. You know those like good memories that you kind of had? That's what I have. That's my. Me that's what I feel with this one. I mean, I definitely had some not fun memories when I was younger, but this is definitely like part of that category where I'm like, wow, like it was fun being a child, you know? I'm curious to see which one would work better for my skin, but they both seem like they're gonna be really nice. The next thing that I ended up picking up was this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This has been everything on YouTube the past few weeks and I was like yeah now is the time to shine so they had this size which is just a small kind of like deluxe large deluxe size and then they also had the regular full size but I felt like this came with a nice decent amount I really love my origins primer and then my Kevin Aquan oil as well as a few other primers so I didn't know if I really needed another full size in my life so I was like this one has a nice amount let's just try this one why do I have to spend 30 bucks when I could spend 15 get the same exact thing but in a smaller size and if I want I can always purchase the full size on Sephora. Um, anyway, the texture of this is really nice. It definitely has like that gripping feel to it, which is kind of unique and different, you know, compared to what I'm really used to. It blends in really nicely and it has uh, maybe like a little bit of a car service -y kind of smell, which I'm not vibing with a million percent, but hopefully it's not going to irritate my nostrils and not make me have like a headache or anything um, but the texture is definitely pretty unique to the makeup world i do have to mention that because i've tried so many primers and this one just like it's different it's just different so very beyond thrilled for that the next thing that i ended up picking up was from natasha denona i'm telling you i went to the natasha denona section and i'm like hey grab 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 and go because i wanted like so many of her products for a while and i'm like now is the time so basically this is the blush and glow palette this was one that was like in my maybe section when i spoke to you guys about it in my wishlist video and like a part of me was like okay fine whatever i don't need it but then a bunch of you guys kept sending me pictures of how gorgeous it was and i'm like can you stop okay fine i'll get it i'll get it so don't stop i mean i'm just kidding this is so pretty i swatched it in store and i'm like no 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 no. this is gorgeous so i do own the highlighter palette and this one is kind of a little bit smaller than that i love the fact that there's a little like window here kind of covering the cream product so that these powder product particles are not going to go into the cream products which i really enjoy i love i can't get i can't express this enough i love using cream blushes in the summertime it just gets me going i'm obsessed with the way it looks on the skin so this one right here has two cream blushes and then two regular um, powder highlighters you guys can see they're so beautiful and reflective very like blinding and gorgeous natasha's highlighters are bomb i love how i'm calling her natasha my sister's name is natalie but sometimes i call her natasha um anyway they seem like they're really nice if they are going to be a bit too dark I don't know if I want to use my fingers for this. If they want to, if they are going to, if they want to, if they are going to be too dark, I can always mix it in with a different um, highlighter that I have from a line. So pretty. Yeah, the brush is just not going to work. My hands are clean. Don't worry. The texture is like silky smoothness galore of life. Yeah, it seems like it has a little bit of silicone in here, but that's how both of the blushes look. This one right here seems like it has a little bit of like I don't know, a goldness to it, and it is pretty light, so I might have to build that up, but this one, whoa, I don't I don't think I've ever owned such a, like, reddish-toned blush. I mean, like, that'll be pretty, like, like harsh on the skin, but blend it out. Imagine, imagine this on the skin with mascara, your hair, like, flying in the wind, looking all cutesy in the summer with this cute-ass hat, and vibing with the world. Damn, what am I saying right now? Who knows? All right, the next thing that I ended up picking up was from the Sephora brand. And this was also something that I purchased on a whim. This is the Sephora, the freezing mask. It says instant toning effect. And I, I've never seen anything like this, freezing mask. Like what does that really mean? So I was really intrigued and curious to see how it's going to perform on the face. Um, it was also really affordable. And I'm like, why not? Why not? I, I want to see. Is it going to be freezing on the face? Am I going to enjoy it? Am I not? 
something that's new to the makeup world. All right, so we're almost done here. The next thing that I ended up picking up was from Sol de Janeiro, and this was by like the checkout section. Um, this was 25 bucks, and you get all these products, and I'm like, yeah, that's just, just an amazing deal. So I have tried the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I've never tried the shower gel, and I've never tried the mist. Now, the reason why I got inspired by this set was because when I went to Generation Beauty, I think last year in October, Leah, my friend here on YouTube, wore this mist and I remember always trying it in Sephora and I'm like I'm not feeling this but when she put it on I'm like damn you smell good so I was like let me give it another chance and see what's up maybe if I use it with the um a body butter and then the shower gel it'll give me more of like a good smell Anyway, so I just thought that this was a really, really great deal for how much you get in here. And it's a great way to just test out the products. You can always purchase the full size at Sephora. And I, I always say that and I love saying that because I just feel like you get a better bang for your buck. You know, like why would I come into something full size if I just don't know what? So cute. It comes with like this little paper situation and then this bag that I would definitely reuse. It smells like plastic day camp. You know what I mean? Like those plastic bags you got in day camp. So good. So the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream is one that I typically use when it gets warmer outside. I don't know, I just don't like use this when it's like fall and winter, but spring and summer, I'm like, get on me. So we got that. This is one that I'm gonna, you know, use ASAP after I clean my um, disgusting shower. It smells, <laughs> don't lie about how it smells because it's closed, okay? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it smells exactly like the body butter. Yum. Yum, this for some reason feels like I feel like it smells better But I just love this little baby size something that would be great for traveling It has three ounces of product in here and then here's a Brazilian crust what? <laughs> and then here's the Brazilian crush body fragrance. What the heck? Um, I think all these worn together When I wear all these together it will smell amazing, yes. So I'm very, very down for this. I have the lip balm as well that I purchased last year and I'm just, I'm getting down with this brand. So that's the next thing that I picked up. The next thing that I have in here is one that I didn't pick up during the sale, but I picked up maybe a few weeks back, but I wanted to mention it to you guys just cause um, I didn't even know Sephora carries such stuff. So this is the anti-cellulite massage accessory. Basically, it's like this little cup that you like massage on your body where you have cellulite. It says 85% of people notice a noticeable difference. I've had this for quite some time. I still didn't use it yet. I want to do a little bit of research of how it actually performs and works. But I am someone who lost... I always say this, but if you are new to my channel, you just never knew. I was 174 pounds. And for my height, which is 4'11", um, that's quite a lot. And so now that I weigh about, I would say 110, 115, I do have cellulite. Not a crazy amount, but it is kind of noticeable if like, I wear a bikini and stuff. So I would want to try to reduce that if I'm able to. And so I found this at Sephora. There were great reviews and I figured I would give it a chance and try if you guys have cellulite and you know how to reduce that Then let me know um, The next two things that I have here are from fresh and these are products that Octoly recently sent over actually So it's not products that I purchased but they sell it at Sephora and in my wishlist video I told you guys that I wanted these and then Octoly sent them and I'm like <laughs> There's no way there's just no way they knew that I wanted it and then they kind of like sent it how does that work? Anyways, I have the Fresh Sugar Hydrating Lip Balm in Peach and then the Fresh Sugar Hydrating Lip Balm in Lemon. I have mine, I don't even know, Chilling Somewhere. I have the Caramel one, which I had for quite some time. Obsessed with that. And I saw that they recently released new shades, Peach, Lemon, and Coconut. <clears throat> and I was like, I need to get down with the life of this. So this is such a beautiful like lip Balm moisturizer something great to use before bed something great to use You know while you're putting on your makeup to hydrate your lips if you're out and about really nice I'm not someone who loves digging my fingers into lip products, but for these products I do make an exception because of how Luxurious luxurious it feels on the lips. They both smell really Amazing the lemon one is what all their other lip products pretty much kind of smell like so if you're into that You would love the lemon one, but I really like the peach one I think it has a little bit more of a subtle scent, but it still has that peachy vibe to it And I think it would be so fun for like the spring months. Since I do wear Invisalign, my lips definitely do get dry very quickly, so I need to hydrate pretty constantly. These are probably one of the best lip balms. I'm not just saying that, my caramel one is almost done, and I promise you guys, this one and the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Can't anymore. I don't even know what to say. So good, so good. All right, and then, wait, no, not finally. I have two more products left, so excited, okay. The next thing that I ended up picking up was the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. So, so excited for this. I'm going to stop yelling because it's like, calm down. This says, slip into your sexy side with this rich coconut scented bronzer. <laughs> Alright. I don't have any sexy clothes, I feel like, but I'll take the bronzer to be sexy. 
This is so cute and it's huge. Let me tell you guys, I thought it was going to be like a regular size bronzer, but there is 18 grams of product and usually bronzers have, I would say, between 10 and 13. So you can just imagine, it's pretty much the size of my hands. Packaging is adorbs. And look at this. I really need to honestly take a picture before I actually swatch my life, but whatever, we're going to do a light swatch. I needed peacocks in my life. I just needed it. Um, I did swatch this in store and I will say that it is pretty like light. So I think it's going to be one that you'll have to build up. But maybe for like the summertime, it'll give you that like bronze, natural, um, effortless effect. I don't know. But it is pretty light. So definitely have that in mind. I don't even know if it's going to show up to be honest with you. So... Yeah, the bronzer is not crazily like pigmented and the highlighter is a little bit more. These are very, very soft products. No kick up, no fallout, very creamy. I do have to test it out on the face to see if it actually does anything because like I said, it swatches really lightly, but I'm still really happy to have this in my life and I think it's gonna perform nice with a brush and stuff, with the whole vibe of a look. I think we'll be good to go. Finally, the last product that I ended up purchasing was from Milk Makeup. This was one that I spoke to you guys about in my wishlist video. And I was so happy that they released something like this because there's just a nice amount of products in here that they recently came out with that I can test out and use and see if I love them. And then I can purchase the full size on Sephora. Um, it comes with a makeup bag, which I love. The zipper is so good on that, like amazing. And I love that it comes like all in here, not just like thrown in the bag. It's just like really nicely presented. Okay, so I do believe that we get three deluxe size products. And from what it seems like, maybe a full size product as well. And I thought that this was priced really well. So the first thing that we get in here is the Milk um, Makeup Kush, Kush Mascara. This is what the mascara looks like. It's just in a silver package. I've never tried this. Ooh, ooh. I'm thinking of my knees because every time she like touched my makeup, she's like, ooh. <laughs> um, here's what the mascara looks like. Very impressed. Wow, this is a wand that I've never seen. It seems like it's a natural bristled wand. I love these big fluffy-ish wands. I feel like it really gets up in there in my lashes. So, wow. I didn't think I was gonna like love that, but so far I think I will. It comes with the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Little Stick, which is something that is really nice to use you know, under the eyes, all over the face if you want to. It just has a really nice cooling effect. I feel like it does prime a little bit, but not to the extent where I want it to prime. Uh, but it is something nice that I generally like to use from time to time. It's one that I own in like a baby size as well. So happy to have another baby in my life. The next product that's included in here is the Kush Lip Balm. Ooh, no, wait, I think we get two full-size products in here. Or this is almost full-size. This is definitely full-size. This is, yum. A lip balm that looks just like that it's green which is kind of fun and you know my addiction with lip balm so i'm very thrilled to have this in my life it has a magnetic closure to it it feels really like standard legit and like nice it's the shade it's in the shade green dragon let me have this product which i guess we get five products in here i'm so i'm so all over the place these are the cooling water eye little patches i don't tend to use patches way too often but once i get started with this set i think i'll go ahead and put these to the test asap and then finally the last product that's included in here is the milk makeup cannabis hydrating face mask and this is honestly what inspired me to pick up the whole set so i wanted this mask i was going to purchase it separately but then i saw the set and i'm like yeah it's included in here so let me just give this a go i need to test this out ASAP. Oi. Um, it doesn't have this best smell. It smells like um, arts and crafts, maybe. <laughs> Glue. What? Who knows? Who knows? Um, interesting consistency. It seems like it's hydrating. I don't know. I have to test this out right away because I'm just like, it has cannabis in here. And anything that has cannabis kind of like intrigues me because I'm like, how do they do that? Just how? Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's everything that I ended up picking up from Sephora. There were still one or two products that I did want, but they didn't have it in store. And some of the products were sold out. So I still might go ahead and place another order online. If there's anything that I missed out and if there's anything that you're like, Leora, you need to have this in your life, please let me know because you are able to use the code multiple times. And I want to know what you guys have to tell me to pick up. Because I need everything you guys tell me, you know? <laughs> okay, anyways, that's pretty much it. Looking forward to reading your comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.